Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, it's your boy with another video. I uh, just want to make this one quick before I um, hit the sack. I got an early morning tomorrow. Got to be at my college by 8 o'clock in the morning, so I just want to run through this quick. Uh, I got the phone started up. Uh, downloaded all the apps that I want at the moment. And uh, just set up my start screen to my liking. Um, just want to show you guys a few things about... Uh, how I set my start screen up. Maybe you might want to do the same. I just have all the essentials here. So you can see I'll start from the bottom. Uh, these two apps, the ESPN app and the games app, I really don't care too much about at this point. But uh, I just put them in there, just add them there at the bottom. Uh, as you can see, we got the calendar app. I like to keep up with my dates, especially between school and work. I need to keep up with my dates. Uh, my photo app. Course. Well, it's not really an app, it's function on the phone. So you can see my photos. <coughs> have the weather app. It's very important for me because I walk a lot uh, between school and busing and training to work and all that. Uh, my people app, sometimes I like to switch up. I don't feel like going to Twitter or Facebook, so I'll just use the people app. And there we go. All of my Facebook and Twitter feeds coming into one. In case I'm in a lazy mood, I don't feel like going into separate ones. It's all here. Notifications. For both. Uh, next, we have the Internet Explorer app. I like to keep that close. I'm always on the Internet on my phone, especially if I have Wi-Fi. Uh, next, we have the camera app. The settings button, Fandango app, I go to the movies a lot, uh, the Music Cloud app, I listen to a lot of music, uh, really good app, guys should try it out if you have not heard of it, uh, the Twitter app, Marketplace, uh, my email, Skype, of course, my phone, and the Facebook app. So that's pretty much how I have my start screen set up. Uh, really quick access to everything that's essential to me that I need. That's, uh, yeah. One thing I wanted to point out really quick before I end this video, because I'm really tired right now. Um, I read a review, and a guy was saying, oh, one thing I don't like about the Windows phones is that when you go to download an app, you... Uh, you, it takes you all the way back to the start screen, and then you got to go all the way back through. So let me just download a random app just to show you guys what he was talking about. Uh, I'll just download anything. This is CNN, for example. Alright, so as you can see, I'm going to download the CNN app. Install. Allow. As you can see, it's downloading. Alright. Now, this is what he was talking about. It brought me right back to the start screen. As you can see, CNN's downloading right there. Now, what he was saying is, what you would have to do is go all the way back up, go to the marketplace, and then go to whatever other app that you want to download. That's not the case, though. That is not the case at all. Uh, all you would simply do, I'm going to download another app. I'll show you guys a quick way just to get back to the marketplace. Um... Apps are here. All right, I'm going to download this separate Facebook app. Let's give you guys a quick view of what you would do. Okay, as you can see, the app is downloading. All you would do is hold the back button, scroll over, and click back in. And now you're back in the marketplace. Simple as that. Simple as that. Yeah, I can even press home, or you can just simply press back, you know. You don't have to do it that way. One of the other functions, uh, most people just press back until they get back to the home screen, which a smart person would do. Uh, another way, some people may not have this function of the phone. It was also one of the functions on the Windows Phone 7. You just hold the back button, and it gives you a slew of recent pages that you had open. So this goes all the way back up to when I was on Skype, as you can see. So many different windows that I can just go back to. Uh, say I want to go back on Twitter. It's got a text message. Uh, see, now I'm back on Twitter. So you can 
see. And then it starts fresh from Twitter and back. So, just wanted to show you guys that quick function for those of you that may have seen that same review that I've seen. Uh, it is not the case. You do not have to just go all the way in a complete circle just to keep re keep downloading apps. Maybe you want to download a couple apps at a time. You don't have to keep doing that. Just hold the back button, scroll across, and click on whichever page you'd like to click on. And it's as simple as that. Or just press back if it was a recent thing on the screen, the most recent thing on the screen. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.